okay. No, he's just uh, been late from his work. Oh yeah. Yeah, so um How's it going? How's how's it going? Uh let's just well um Not that I need to know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm just preparing from that to where it sits because it, it doesn't sit well with uh, with um, what they did at Te Apua. Over the top. Hello? Hello? Oh. Come on. Oh, it went. Um, oh. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't sit well with what they did at Te Apua, <clears throat> with their words and, and, and went ahead of Bundy and them. The, the landowners. So, so that'll be quite interesting because the way I see it is that they're using the 21 guns. I didn't count 21, I only counted 17. But but that that, that was claiming to be the way to for them. Hmm? Oh, Okay. 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 Yeah. So, because I'm working on the documents, they'll be released tomorrow, <coughs> and um, 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 they'll be on. They'll they'll be out. Uh, I'll be sending them up to Bundy and them. <coughs> if you if you had an email, I'd send it to you too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm, I am. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm debating on now. I got some sheer seeds. I got some sheer seeds. Okay. All right. Bye. Let's cook uh, <coughs> I want to make sure that in no way that this 1834 declaration of war flag is going to be compromised. Compromise by anything less than a king. That's what I'm saying to Bundy. There's a clear divide. You're on this side or this side. And the king, you can't be on a king if you got the 1835. That's the queen's side on that side. You've got to stay there. <coughs> so the Maori government's got to stay on this side and sort that lot out. You can't jump on this side. You can't have documents on this side with the king, William IV crown uh, and the Maui crown together. That's, that's nothing to do with Maori. Maori's on this side. You have to sort your Maori out because it's in a big mess. Everything Maori, you've got to sort it out. Georgie Job's going to sort it out with Suna Kora. <coughs> and in a hurry. I want it done in a hurry. I want this cleared up at the court hearing in Auckland on Friday next week. I'll be in tip-top condition, hopefully, by then. <coughs> I'm still sick. Um, and... Um, um, uh, so we will we will make sure that um, we know where we stand in front of John Key and the Mischief Queen and their Crown Corporation operating fraud business on this land. He's hiding away in Australia, in New Zealand. So I've got him out in the open now. He's liabling Air New Zealand and their company too. He's liabling everyone. <coughs> That's what I'm saying. The British can go right over the top of them and seize everything on the land they're in. Okay, they can seize the whole of Australia with this flag and what I say, and America at the same time. I'm just talking to Daryl Payne, and <coughs> already you can see King William operating in California. He set up that uh, New York Stock Exchange in the 50 years he was in the Navy. He put a lot of work into it, and these thugs pinched it. <coughs> and turned it into the U.S. federal state. You're going to get exed with this flag now. That's what Soros, George Soros, is cleaning you lot out. He's he's going around smashing you all up in bits. But the indigenous people will be right. <coughs> I'll make sure of that. So the new world order is this flag and this eight-point star that John Key, Key 
is stealing with the Queen, the Mr. Queen, I'm going to hang. I keep saying that on these videos because she is treason and ran off from New Zealand and her Maori people on this side and left them for dead. She's gone into the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest to British people and there she is trying to shut the place down and her husband took off as well. <coughs> Prince, Prince Philip has resigned because he knows he's caught out. We're going to hang both of them in the street as soon as we get this sorted out with these paramount chiefs and their flag. Their flag is the highest authority of jurisdiction of admiralty court martial law in the world. Ready for this time after all said and done with the fraud that they've created out of it, we are now going to recover the whole lot. We're going to recover all the debt <coughs> and we expect the British to go and seize America, seize the Caribbean islands, seize all the property that these elite people are on, seize everything, seize their boats, seize the, seize the whole lot because they have benefited from these fraud bank transactions and John Key. He skipped out because he got caught giving $13 million of New Zealand taxpayers' money to Hillary Clinton and her Clinton Foundation, which has gone to buggery now. It's gone out of business. And that's the way they operate as thugs in the night. John Key, you have libel in New Zealand and all its business and you have libel Turnbull, the Prime Minister of Australia and all of Australia. You have libel because you're, you're stuck in the fraud and sharing it. You're carrying on your legacy of fraud in the banks. You're carrying on your legacy stealing this eight point star. I'm going to whack you with it because you have no authority to be sporting this eight point star thinking that you're going to give it to Donald Trump to create a declaration of war on Iran and North Korea. You bastard. You bastard, Jonky. I'm going to hang you right in front of everybody because of what you just did here to New Zealand and the taxpayers stole that money and you think you can get away with it? No, you're not going to get away with it. Not these paramounties. You've done enough damage and Helen Clark has done enough damage for you to be hung with the Queen and Prince Philip and all her royal family. Taken right out. George Soros is whacking you all, all out with his heart machine and <clears throat> duping all you politicians. Bloody good job. He's going to clean you out and bring in the new world order. That's us. And this way. End this. And we will string you all up. All of you who have lived a luxury life on our expense. No more. Okay, that's all. I'm going to get on with the documents now. I'm not even upset. I'm just sick of all you lot. And now I want to see what's happening up north in Kaikoui. And <coughs> Danny, I think you fellas have got uh, illusions of this and that, of lightning and thunder. That's got nothing to do with titles. That has nothing to do with banks. That has nothing to do with land transfers and chiefs and paramount chiefs. Paramount chiefs are commercial landowners. They actually own this land legally on paper, legitimately and lawfully own this land because they have the right surnames for a start, not this bodgy, modgy, Maori names. Fake names, that's an illusion that your queen created for you people and now you're in trouble. Well, don't hang around this king side here and think you're going to hook yourself to this. No, I'm going to belt you right off. You fellas stay on this side because Sue Nakura and Georgie Job will sort you out. See, they will sort you out because that's their, <coughs> that's their call over these lands. And Bundy, he's the Whakaminia, the contractor with the Navy, the
the Royal British Navy, not this New Zealand corrupted Navy. They're going to get the bill too. They're on here. They're implicated in the crime because they're part of the crime with John Key and the Prime Minister and the Governor Generals of past year. Right back. <clears throat> We're going right back to 1820, all the way through, because that's when these two chiefs went to England and sold this country. You people don't know. I'm holding the titles here to this country. And there's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing you can do about it, legally or otherwise. We'll have this out in court next week. Those people on Cook Street, you're going to be fired out. <clears throat> Your law is an ass of corrupted fraud. All of you, the police, the judges, the courts, we have given up on the justice in this country is no justice. We are going to Britain to take this country off you and then bill you for this, then boot your house out. Hang you if you're like John Key, skimming the profits off the people of New Zealand and especially the Paramount Chiefs. They're the oldest, we've got the oldest, and you can't go past that. Danny, you have skipped over these paramount chiefs <coughs> and left them as though you fellas knew what you're doing on their land up north. That's Bundy's land. And you left them out. You left them out and left me out. You didn't bring us to your gun uh, ceremony because I wanted to film it. I wanted to see what you were doing. And then I never counted 21 guns. What for? What are the 21 guns for? not this flag. Don't ever bring 21 guns into this flag because you'll get a tower, trillion pound note on your head. Don't fool around with Paramount Chiefs. I'm one of them too. There's four of us on this panel. <coughs> fool around with us, you get chopped. It already I can see that. And that's what Coco is saying. She can pick up what's going, what's really going on. And what I hope, I'm disappointed with you, mate. You can't just waltz in up there when I've been there over 20 years in Ngāpui. I'm part of Ngāpui. I'm really part of them. And I'm there to straighten the whole land out, this country, with their contract, not yours. This is their contract, 1834, 13 chiefs. That's it. And especially those two chiefs that went to England. That's it. Nobody's business. That is nobody's business. It's private. This flag on this side, 1834, is private admiralty. You can't have no say. The government here has no say in that court hearing next week, Friday. And John Key, if you don't turn up, you're gone. Because the sheriffs and the police will be after you and lock you up and take all your properties and all your investment properties, 30 million bucks plus or whatever it is. They will go after it all. I'll get them highest paid debt collectors on, on it. <coughs> and you owners on Cook Street, your days are over. This is your last chance on this video to turn up at that Native Magistrate Court hearing in Epsom 1, Clyde Road and Manaka Road Corner in Epsom at 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock. If you don't turn up to that hearing, it's an automatic default. I've already given you three notices at your office in person. I gave you three. It's on camera. It's on camera. It's on video. The videos matter more than anything. You just flatly ignored it. No ignoring anymore because you can be hung for treason. The same as John Key. All of you are the same. Thanks. Living in this country, you don't belong here. We'll kick you out. That's for sure. I don't care when I'm talking like this because you're thugs. You are the elite that is creaming off these lands for yourselves, your self interest, and not ours. The people of New Zealand and the taxpayers that are wearing the bill that you bastards put together. And no more. We're cutting you off right now. We're going to cut you off. Soon, Cora and, and her married government 
whatever, and the Fakamimia and myself, the king, Saragin, is gonna cut your heads right off. Like all you can do it you you've got no information, no no titles, no nothing. You have no titles to this country. Just a stupid whim of the Queen. No. We got our king over there, King Ernest Augustus, the fifth, and his son, King uh, Prince Regent. Ernest Augustus. There, yeah, those two. That's our oath of office there in Britain. I'm going there to put them into Westminster and stay there with them. <coughs> okay, you got that in your heads up there, Danny? You, you fellas listening to what I'm saying? I'm serious. I'm pretty serious on this video. I'm, this is cited. I'm citing these videos. That's why I put them on. And I point it right at you. I'm pointing it at Poroho. Because, Poro, I haven't seen any titles from you, or your surname. What's your real surname? You see? You're, you're a bodgy. You're a bodgy. you got no straight answers. You're hiding behind something evil. That's why you've disappeared until the rough is over. Well, your name is going on the list if you're found to be behind the scam that's going on in Darbour. I'm saying that because I know that place inside out. I know who's who up there. I opened that <coughs> Te Hiku o Te Ika Marae, Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. I opened it up myself with Bundy and the people up there. Right, we have that going, the legal side of that for Bundy and Manahi and Heruini Karaka. You see, we, we, we know what we're doing, but I You don't come up there and prance yourself around from down to South Island. <coughs> You've got to sort those parkheads out down there. That's your little game down, down there. And you'll find they'll, they'll be coming under the British before long again. Seize everything again. And this time, the Paramount Chiefs will have nuts to say. You won't be one of them. You won't be anywhere near this spot on this side. You're over here, playing around with the Queen. And you, you bastard, you said, oh, don't say that about the Queen. I'm going to fucking hang her, put up. And you, you'll get hung too if you keep talking like that to me, about don't say that about the Queen. Back off, like fucking hell. She has killed too many people and children in this fucking world. You don't read into it. You don't go deeper into it. I do. That's what you don't know. You, you've got other things on your mind business and your own self-interests. Well, talking about land, mate, you don't have a brass razu on land titles and whose names are on them and how that works. You see? Now that's where you fall short of the mark. You can say what all, all you like, but the British are where I'm at. Not here. Okay, that's all. That's all for now. So that's my warning to you people next week that we're taking this seriously. We're taking this country back straight away. I'm going to build this all against you on next week <clears throat> with these power notes. They're already in the ANZ Bank ready to go. And we're going to build the whole lot against you all, John Key. Any amount we want. And the British have to follow the orders of the Paramounties and myself, the fourth Paramount. <coughs> okay, you got that? And you guys, Georgie Job will sort you, you lot out with Sue Nakora, my friend Sue Nakora down the East Coast. She'll kick them off my land and kick them off the Lodden Point Motel. I want that bloody motel for our office. I want it, that's, that's on our ancestors' land. I want it back. I want all the land that I've been prevented from going on, and I want the Maori land court abolished. That's what Sue Nicor is going to do, about to do, and I'm supporting her. So, take my word. You people on Cook Street, you are liable. You lost the case. And I haven't had my case in court yet. I haven't had my day in your court because your court can't handle me. I was going in there to shut it down. That's why your 
in trouble with me and the Paramount Chiefs. You're going to have to pay for it, all of you, if you've got a trillion pounds on your head. You're going to lose everything. I don't care, fuck. You're going to lose it for doing that to me and others who were helping me. Not those Maori, Maori marshals. They're with the Hawaiians. They're, they're, they're with the Hawaiians and that Naidu, American thug, High Court judge, fraudster. I say that because that's where they've gone. And Hauraki and Tainui, you're, you're going down a slippery path against this side. You're a threat to the Paramount Chiefs and Britain, UK, and this way. Don't touch this flag. Don't fly it for the wrong reasons on this side with your 1835 Declaration of Independence. Don't touch this 1834, any of you, because it'll turn on you. It's not for you people. It is British and the Paramount Chiefs and those two chiefs and no one else. <coughs> no one else. This is a magistrate court private contract. And these people I'm accusing and alleging are fraudsters is a private contract. Nobody's business. It's between me and whose name goes on, goes on Facebook, goes on YouTube, goes on my website, goes on Twitter. <clears throat> you can't get out of it. You can't get out of it. You can't take your name or your photo off. It's stuck there. And the Freemasons are coming after you. They're the assass assassins. They're going to come after you for getting in my road. Believe me, I think that's what it is. Well, it's none of my business. All I do is Moe Manukau, the Freemason, with his title and his ancestor that signed the deal. Okay, that's all. I better do my documents. See you later.